In this video, I want to show you how to install Windows 10 on a new PC and how to activate it. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel and you find my channel interesting, please take a moment to subscribe. This will greatly help the channel. To install Windows 10 on a new PC, you have four requirements. The first requirement is that you need a USB key that is 8 GB or more. Preferably get a 3.0 USB key so it will be faster. And also this USB key will be completely wiped so make sure you're using a USB key that you don't need the information on. I'm gonna leave in the description a link for a recommended USB key. The second thing you need is Windows 10 installation files and I'm gonna show you how to download them from Microsoft's site and how to put them on the USB key. The third thing you need is a license key. So the license can be either a key that you purchase from Microsoft or from any other vendor or it can also be a digital license and I'm gonna show you how to activate Windows towards the end of the video. And the fourth thing you need is a Windows 10 PC so that you can perform all these operations on. So let's start. So first insert the USB key in your Windows 10 PC and here I'm inserting the USB key. By the way, I'm gonna leave in the description a link to a recommended USB key. So after you insert the USB key, open your web browser and then go to this site microsoft.com slash software dash download slash windows 10 and hit enter. And here you have two options. The first one is update now. We don't need this option. The second option is to create a Windows 10 installation media. So click on download tool now. And the tool will be downloaded. Once the media creation tool is downloaded, open it. Click yes if prompted. So give it a minute to start. And here, this is the license agreement. Feel free to read it and then click on accept. And here you have two options. The one that we should select to create a USB key is the second one. So select create installation media and then click on next. And here, make sure that you're selecting the version of Windows you want, the language, the edition, of course, it's Windows 10. And if you have an architecture that is 32-bit selected here, but here I am showing you the 64-bit architecture. So click Next. And then here you have also two options. Either you download an ISO file or you put the installation files on a USB flash drive. And this is what we are going to do here. So make sure USB flash drive is selected and then click on Next. And here the Media Creation Tool program will ask you to choose the USB drive. This is true if you have many USB drives on your PC. So make sure you're selecting the correct USB drive that you want to put the Windows 10 installation files on because once again, it will be completely wiped. So here for me, it is USB 128. And then once you select the USB drive, click on next. So now the media creation tool starts downloading Windows 10. And this operation, depending on your internet connection speed, might take a while. So I'm gonna cut this video and come back when this operation is almost finished. And now the operation is finished. It took almost 15 minutes on my PC and with my internet connection. So now click on finish. And then remove the flash drive from your PC. And I'm gonna switch now to an external camera and show you how to install Windows 10 on the new PC. Now insert the prepared USB key into the new PC and start the new PC. If your PC doesn't have anything on its hard drive, it will start directly from the USB key. But if your PC had an older operating system or an operating system that you want to erase, make sure to start the PC from the USB key by pressing the hard boot key on your keyboard and selecting the USB to start the PC. When the PC boots from the USB key, the setup program will start and here on this screen it will prompt you to choose your language, the time and currency format and the keyboard. 
So here for me, I kept everything on the default, which is English United States. Of course, choose your own language and then click on next. And on this next screen here, click on install now. And it will prompt you here to enter the product key. If you have a product key, enter it here and Windows will be activated automatically. Otherwise, click on I don't have a product key. There's always a way to enter it afterwards in Windows 10 and activate Windows. And if you have a digital license, just click I don't have a product key and make sure here to select the correct version of Windows that you have a product key for. For me, I have a Windows 10 Home digital license. So I chose Windows 10 Home and then click on next and here you're prompted to accept the license agreement feel free to read it click on i accept and then click on next and on the next screen here make sure to select custom and then here make sure to select the correct hard drive if you have many hard drives in your pc this is not my case here so the only hard drive that exists in the pc got selected automatically when the target drive where you want to install windows 10 is selected click on next and the installation of Windows 10 begins. It might take a while here. It all depends on the speed of your PC and on the speed of the USB drive. So I'm gonna cut this video and come back when this initial phase of the installation is finished. So now the initial phase of the installation is almost finished. Windows here will prompt you to restart the computer or it will restart automatically if you leave it. Click on restart now and the PC will restart. And this time it will restart from the internal hard drive and the setup of windows will continue at this stage this phase of the setup here takes anywhere from 3 to 10 minutes depending on your pc speed so i'm going to accelerate the video and after this phase of the setup is finished the pc will restart and the setup will resume so here it will prompt you to choose your region for me it is United States so I kept it by default and I clicked on yes and the keyboard layout it's US for me also and I don't want to add another keyboard and here it will prompt you to connect to your internet and it's very important to connect to internet here so that if you have a digital license it can be activated when you log in so here I'm selecting my Wi-Fi and I'm putting the password and then click on next it will be connected to the internet and then when the connection is finished click on next and the setup will resume and here if you have a digital license it's very important to use the account that is tied to the digital license so windows can be activated so this is my case here i'm gonna put my knowledge sharing account and then once you put your account click on next Put the password for the account and then click on next again and the setup will continue here it will ask you to create a pin click on create pin and then create a pin this is a convenient way to log in to your device click ok after you put your pin and you're prompted to choose your privacy settings for me i like to turn everything off but it's up to you if you want to leave everything or you want to choose choose here the options you want and then click on accept and here also it will ask you to choose how you'll use your pc so that it can customize the experience for you i like to choose nothing here so feel free to choose whatever you want and then click on skip or accept and for pairing the phone also i'm gonna click on skip and here it will ask you if you want to save your files to OneDrive or to this pc I want to save them to this PC so I click only save files to this PC and I don't want to use Office 365 and I also don't want to use Cortana of course feel free to put the options you want here so now the setup is finished and Windows 10 will start for the first time the first start will take a little bit of time so just give it time and here's Windows logged in and you notice here that my desktop is customized and this is because I used the same Outlook account on another Windows 10 PC and Windows synchronized my settings. So now that Windows started, let me show you how to activate it. Click on the Windows logo on the bottom left and then click on settings and under settings click on system 
and under system click on about scroll down and click on change product key and here you notice that my windows is activated and this is because i have a digital license and i logged in with the user that is tied to this digital license in case windows is not activated here and you have a license key click on change product key this is the last option on this page and here put the product key that you have so just to show you i'm gonna put a valid product key here and once you put the product key click on next and here click on activate and as you see windows gets activated and that was all i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful in case you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i want to thank you all for watching and until next time